Each year, I had the privilege of addressing several audiences during Black History Month to offer my reflections on the Civil Rights Movement. Through research, I seek to make connections with our call-out community. I found that after President Harry Truman issued Executive Order 9981 that directed the integration of the U.S. Armed Forces in 1948, 15 years later, the first African-American officers graduated from the U.S. Army War College in 1963. Coincidentally, that was the same year as the March on Washington and Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech given that August from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. One can imagine the pride and anticipation that those two officers felt with their War College graduation in June, and perhaps later with seeing the demonstration taking place in our nation's capital and hearing Dr. King's words for equal rights and justice. I offer the story of one of those two soldiers. Otho Van Exel was an officer of the New York Army National Guard, born in Barbados, British West Indies. He was an immigrant and an American citizen soldier who served in segregated units during the Second World War. As a guardsman, he had a series of staff assignments within the 369th Coastal Artillery Regiment, anti-aircraft and colored, which deployed to the Asian Pacific Theater of Operation. In September 1951, Lieutenant Colonel Van Exel began the first of four successive battalion and higher level commands in the New York Army National Guard. Promoted to Colonel in July of 1962, he commanded the 187th Artillery Group immediately before, during, and after his War College attendance. Van Exel retired in 1971 with a brevet promotion to Brigadier General.